A Cry in the Dark, Carly Moore Series, written by Denise Grover Swank, narrated by Shannon McManus. Chapter One. No, 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 I shouted, banging the heel of my hand on the steering wheel of my Honda. Damn it. This could not be happening again. I popped the hood of my car, got out, and circled around the front. It took me three tries to get the hood propped on its stand, but I wasn't sure why I was even bothering. I hadn't learned anything about car engines since my last car had broken down in southern Arkansas, where I'd met people who'd helped me, strangers who had become friends. That kind of luck didn't happen twice. Leaning over the engine, I looked over all the hoses, intact, and the radiator, not steaming, which meant I had no idea what was wrong with it. I was in a parking lot off Highway 25, at a scenic pull-off overlooking the Smoky Mountains, and what I presumed was the Tennessee-North Carolina state border. It was an off-the-beaten-path road, which meant I was basically in the middle of nowhere. I had crisscrossed the state lines a couple of times since I'd left Gatlinburg, but I was fairly sure I was currently in Tennessee. Only fairly sure because I'd lost cell service a couple of hours ago. I was in big trouble. Pissed, I swiped my hair out of my face and turned to face the view, suddenly overcome with rage. The fact that it was beautiful just made me madder. I'd pulled over to the lookout on a whim less than five minutes ago, wanting to get one last look at the Smokies. I'd spent a few minutes staring at them, soaking in the sight and trying to feel something, only to return to the car and find it wouldn't start. I pulled the burner phone I was using out of my jeans pocket, not surprised to still see the no service symbol in the top left corner, which meant I couldn't call a roadside service. Besides, where would I have them tow it? The last town I remembered passing through was in North Carolina, but that had been a good hour or so ago minus this stop, the tow bill was going to be astronomical. What in the hell was I going to do? The hum of an approaching car caught my attention, and I wasn't sure whether to hide or try to flag the driver down. Ideally, I'd check out who was in the car before making the decision. A family with kids was a safe enough bet. A solitary guy in a beat-up truck? Maybe not. The problem was that the lookout was at the edge of a curve in the road, so I wouldn't have much opportunity to make the call. The car breezed by, a small, older hatchback. I could make out who was inside. Sample complete. Ready to continue?